I had a fish take down my pole and then head straight in there. I wanted to see how deep it was in there and I wanted to try and, you know, redeem myself. So I felt like I did that. I think there's some, some massive turtles out here, guys. I'm sick of the turtle bites, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get on this log jam. It might be a little bit unsafe, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera with me. Okay, something happens to me, then you know what? Maybe you guys can recover the camera. All right, guys, this is beautiful out. It's six o'clock in the morning right now. And also right underneath a very noisy bridge. It's six o'clock in the morning. Where, where's all these people going, you know? But for real, guys, it's a little bit noisy under this bridge. Everybody's getting to work at six o'clock. So there were some turtles in this area earlier. Like I said, I think there's some turtles out here. Um, I think there's some, some massive turtles out here, guys. That's a big bite. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something a little bit risky and I'm gonna get on this wood pile over here just for fun. See if I have any live fish left. At the same time, I'm gonna leave these two in the water. It looks a little sketchy getting to for sure. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna bring a live bait with me, maybe even two. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get over the, maybe to the other side of the log jam. And hopefully I can, I'm gonna see if I can avoid some of the turtles. Just wanna, ah! Oh, man, it, it, is, it is so slick out here, the mud is crazy. It's that deceiving kind of mud where it looks like it's kind of kind of dry. I wanna see if I have anything that's alive. Oh, nice. I've got, All right, all right. This green sunfish is what I'm gonna use. He's perfect. Okay, so I've got my green sunfish on. Perfect size, he's active. And now I'm gonna go ahead and try and get across this over here. Oh, don't wanna step there. Oh wow. Oh shoot. Okay. Yep. Yeah. This is gonna be fun, fun, fun. Maybe worth it. Maybe not. I got quite a ways to go to get over all this. Oh, that's a lot. And I, uh, as much as I want something to bite on one of my poles over there, it's gonna be really hard to get to it in time. So I'm gonna get across this as fast as I can. I see some big, big logs here. Wow, this has been here for a long time, I can tell. Look like a good softball up there. I'm gonna try and get to the end of this and drop in this little green sunfish. I don't wanna fall down there. I don't know what's down there. So I made it across and I'm on kind of the other side. Now I know a lot of this wood goes down a lot deeper. I'm gonna try and get out on this big, okay. My balance isn't great, but I'm gonna try and get out on this big, it looks like it's kind of cracked right there. There's definitely not a shortage of wood. All right. 
Okay. Let me get that out of the way. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I catch a big fish right here, though. There's a ton of structure out here, guys. So I know there's a flathead out here. It's gotta be. There's, I mean, there's a tire over here. Cause the end of this big log looks like it's kind of cracked. Let's see if I can show you. And I'm not sure if I want to go sit on the end of that or not. I might not want to. Might just pop a squat. I don't know. I don't. I don't recommend this for you guys to do. I wish I had all my bed over here because I'm probably gonna get snagged. So far, so good. Unless this, unless this thing breaks on me. I can, I can easily go to sleep out here, guys. That, that's dangerous. All right, guys, I feel a bite. Something's, something's moving it around. Oh, oh. Got one. Oh. oh, nice. I can't believe I caught one after. Blue. If I can get down here. Hello. There's a pole. Ah, he's biting me. He's biting me good. Oh man. Woo! That was fun, guys. This might have been that guy that's been stealing my bait all night. Right out here. Really testing my balance right now, but as woo, that was, that was a good little fight. Woo. All right, guys, here he is. This is what I had to walk across to get to him. And hang out. <laughs> I had to hang out on this little, this little uh, tree right here that is kind of flimsy with my, uh, with my weight. <laughs> uh, but I'm just happy to catch a fish. All right, guys. So I came out here on this log jam. Took a risk. I think I caught this blue cat on a small crappie. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go back in the water. Yeah. Ah. Man, blues bite so hard. Okay. There he goes. Sayonara. Look how massive these trees are, guys. I mean, it, it's a beautiful day, but um, I almost. I almost lost it in here a couple of times. If you guys can't tell how much this is. I had one fish I hooked on earlier that drove me into this pile. So I was like, I'm going to go get a fish from this pile. I don't, I don't think that that was the fish. Who knows? It might have been, but I wanted to definitely catch a fish before I left. So um, I'm going to go get my family some breakfast and I'm going to get out of here. 
I might actually come out here and fish again sometime, but um, again, I don't promote it. Um, I've almost fallen multiple times. It's about, guys, it, it's about 20 feet deep right here, and there's huge, huge trees beneath this. So it could be even deeper than that, but whoa, whoa. My balance is bad too. I'm not sure whether to call this bank fishing. It's not boat fishing. It almost is like a raft, but <laughs> ah, I'm funny. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't promote it, guys. I really don't, but I did it. Um, and I'm glad I got to catch a fish uh, to, to kind of to go home to. So it is now time to go climb that treacherous hill with all of my gear and get off of my little island I have here. So again, I don't promote fishing or getting on one of these. You can fall through. I did a couple of times, but yeah, I'm, I'm alive. This is where I was sitting uh, when I caught that fish and right next to it, I mean, it's about 20 feet deep and there's, uh, you can just tell with what the weight hits that I mean, there's also large, large trees down there. So it could be deeper than that, just from over time, how much water's come through here. Obviously you can tell what the level of the water is here and where it has been. It's not like you've never seen a log jam, but this thing is just, it's massive, guys. And, uh, you know, you wanna fall through these things, you can fall through a lot, but just to get an idea, of just how high, uh, just how, I think it was not, it was definitely not last year. I think it was about two or three years ago. We had a, uh, a lot of, a lot of rain. So guys, this right here, I mean, there's tire, softball. You can find so many cool things at the river, even if you don't fish. A kind of a nasty little secret is that I actually brought over my bait in my pocket. Um, I, I'm gonna wash my pants when I get home. And I've done that before. Like, if I don't want to put it on the hook yet, and I'm going through some woods or something weird like that, and I'm about I'm about to put the bait in the water. I'll literally, literally just put that bait in my pocket, and so it's not getting scratched up or ripped off the hook or anything like that. Just a little little tip. Maybe I don't suggest that either. But <laughs> and again, the real only reason why I went in there is because I had caught a fish, take down my pole, and then head straight in there. I wanted to see how deep it was in there and I wanted to try and, you know, redeem myself. So I felt like I did that. Love you guys. Keep fishing. All right, all you guys, I appreciate you guys watching Catfish KC. We love you guys. We have fun here in Kansas City. And if you're ever here, there's plenty of fun places to fish, but we love it out here. We appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna head home. Check out this huge log jam. We hope for some more rain. It's gonna be hot this week and doesn't look like much rain. Yeah, we appreciate you guys.